Okay, you guys, as you can see, I've got tons of groceries here. I'm not really sure how to do this, but I really want to give you guys kind of an insight into what a week of groceries looks like for us. Uh, so I'm gonna try my best. I'm kind of weird about leaving my groceries out um, very long. So I'm gonna do this really quick and then get them into the fridge. I wanna talk proteins uh, at the very beginning. What I buy for a week of my meats and proteins. Um, two things that I got this week is I got some white fish. This is halibut. And I actually bought this for the boys because I cut it up into little chunks and I put a little bit of breading on it and I fry them for the kids. They prefer white fish. Um, for Ryan and I, I got a, a center cut filet of salmon. So I just put a little salt and pepper and some butter and we have salmon. One of my new favorite, favorite things to do, check this out, is I got, this is a pork tenderloin, okay? It's a huge tenderloin. It's already been seasoned. It's already been marinated. It's pre-cut. You just ask for them and they wrap it up for you. And all you have to do is bake it. You don't have to worry about marinades. You don't have to worry about any of it. You just throw it in the oven and bake it. I got uh, three chicken breasts the same way. This seasoning is... Uh, this is basil pesto, and I think this is a Dijon marinade. They're fantastic. They're fantastic. Um, a staple in our house always, always, always is deli meat. Ham, turkey, peppercorn turkey. I mean, anytime I am just like needing to eat something, I roll up pieces of lunch meat and I have some avocado or some vegetables, and it uh, is very helpful in keeping kind of the carbs and the sugar down. Um, another thing that's new that I'm trying is I found these uh, chicken meatballs. These are teriyaki pineapple. They're pre-cooked. I think you just heat them up, but we've never tried them, but I'm always looking for quick proteins that we can eat kind of on the go. And then of course our eggs. I get two containers of these. We go through eggs really fast. I mean, Ryan has them every morning and the kids eat them, so. And then the last protein is Okay, the last protein is four cans of tuna fish. Um, I got some celery and I put some eggs and I actually use a uh, avocado oil mayonnaise. So it's real healthy. I got onions, pre-chopped. This takes me five minutes to make. Super easy and we eat on this all the time. Um, so that's that. Now let's talk about convenience. I am all about convenience. So like some of the things that I get, I get these nourish bowls. I got two of them. And they're different kinds, but anytime I have not cooked or Ryan needs something for lunch or I'm home for lunch, these are so easy. High protein, no sugar, um, real quick to make. And then one new thing that I'm trying are these finishing sauces. One is a curry, one's a dill, and one's a sweet chili. So anytime I roast vegetables or do anything, I'm going to try putting these on at the end. They were low calorie, they weren't real processed. So uh, that's something. And then these, I found this in the freezer section. And it's basically a chimichurri chicken, roasted peppers, red potatoes. It's like a uh, gourmet lean cuisine. You put them in the freezer, pop them out, microwave them, and uh, they're done. So convenience, buying avocados, pre-made into guacamole. Don't waste your time, just buy guacamole that's fresh. Uh, Pre-chopped onions, don't waste time chopping onions. Guys, when it comes to fruit, I know that I am not gonna cut a watermelon, nor am I gonna cut a pineapple. So, I buy them pre-cut, especially for the kids, because they just grab them out and they just eat them. Uh, lots of berries, we do lots of berries. Like I said, these jumbo blueberries, this is life right here. They are so good. They are never sour. I'm sure they're like pumped full of growth hormones or something, but they're very good. So veg, I mean, uh, fruits, very basic. You're typical, we don't eat a ton of fruit. The kids eat a lot of fruit. Um, let's talk about, I potatoes. I buy two sweet potatoes a week. We do not eat a lot of potatoes. My kids don't like them. We try to stay away from them. We very minimally will eat sweet potatoes here and there. Um, vegetables, I buy green beans pre-washed, pre-snipped, because who has time to snip and wash green beans? Shaved Brussels sprouts, I throw these in a saute pan. I'm gonna try those finishing sauces on it, so we'll see about that. 
And this is the quantity of bell peppers that we eat a week. My kids love them, I love them, I cook with them non-stop. They're so easy to use. Um, carrots, tomatoes, these are things that I just keep on those veggie trays that I've shown you before. Broccoli, pre-washed, pre-cut, I mean, it doesn't get any easier. And uh, let's talk snacking. Okay, so that's our vegetables. I We keep a lot of vegetables. Like by the end of the week, I, I still am using vegetables out of the fridge. Like we have a lot. This is what I snacked on at the grocery store. I was so hungry. Um, these are beet chips and they're 140 calories for the entire pack. And it's literally just beets that have been baked. They're fantastic. They're a little expensive. This was $3 for a thing, but I mean, a healthy snack that fills you up and is good is worth it. So I ended up getting um, a carrots version and a sweet potato chips version. These are great to just have around the house and snack on. Ryan will take these to work sometimes. And then uh, I tried these out. We've had these before. Oops. One's an oatmeal bite and one's a chocolate bite, but they're vegan, dairy-free. Uh, they're not paleo, but they're fairly healthy. Uh, they're better than processed snacks. And let's see, salad stuff. We eat lots of salads. Anytime I cook a meat for dinners, we normally make up a salad. And then I got a, a paleo Whole30 salad dressing. It's called Primal Kitchen. It's pretty popular. I haven't tried this flavor before, but this is what I got this week. And then always a bag of chips because this is my life during the week. It's the thing that keeps me from binge eating on Cheetos. Chips. And our staple for breakfast is a frozen, uh, it's in the freezer section, Ezekiel bread. We put it in the fridge. It lasts for almost two weeks. And we do a piece of toast with almond, almond butter and some fruit or some sausage. So. That is the groceries now. Let me not deceive you. Y'all, this is where most of my money goes is for the kids' snacks and all of their stuff. Um, but that's a pretty kid zone right there. We don't eat a lot of that. We buy it for the kids. Uh, we're great parents, I know. We stuff our kids full of processed snacks while we eat all the good stuff. But anyways, if you have any questions about the groceries, I'm gonna go put these in the fridge. I know this video is a little choppy, but um, let me know. Hopefully this will give you some insight into what a week's worth of food looks like. Read the comments below, because I'm gonna break down the cost of grocery shopping for a week versus the cost of eating out. So you can see kind of what that relationship is.